hi guys welcome back to my channel thank you to all my amazing subscribers thank you for the love and thank you so much for the support so far you guys are absolutely incredible if you're new here welcome to my channel my name is Ayatollah the creative director of So Unique Badani and the content creator of this channel DIY with So Unique Badani and this channel is dedicated to teaching you different creative projects that you can do from the comfort of your home and we focus on sewing projects however we do dive out to some vinyl crafts here and there once in a while and I'm sure you enjoy them so yes definitely um, be a part of this family and to be a part of this family all you need to do is hit the subscribe button right here as well as the notification bell so you don't miss out on the awesome content that we have for you you also want to follow me on social media with the handles being shown right here on the screen all right guys so today's video I'm going to be showing you how to make this shirt or smocks top depending on what you like to call it some people like to call it shirt some people like to call it smocks however whichever one you want to call it I'm going to be showing you how to make it okay and the great thing about this top is it's just right for summer so yes it is a top in season very very trendy and you know appropriate for the season so yes it's easy to make and you can trust me for a detailed tutorial so without further ado we're gonna get into the video and if you enjoyed this video don't forget to give this video a thumbs up don't forget to share don't forget to leave a comment suggestion or your feedback in the comment section and I'll definitely be reading and also don't forget to follow me on social media if you haven't thank you for watching and see you in my next video bye to make your smock top you need one yard of fabric you'll need some elastic you'd also need a safety pin and this is basically needed to pass your elastic into the elastic casing you need some pins you need your measuring tape to take your blast net measurement and your upper chest circumference measurements. You'd also need your fabric scissors and I always recommend having a smaller scissors handy as you can see I have one here. You need two bobbins and one is going to be for the regular thread while the second one is for the elastic thread. As you can see it has a little bit of elastic thread on it. You'd also need your regular thread that matches your fabric as well as your elastic thread and as you can see this is stretchy and you basically wind it around the bobbin with your hand not the machine and the reason why you do that is because you don't want it to stretch too much so you're going to hand wind it around the bobbin and i'll show you how in a minute you'll need your snips as well as your seam repair just in case you need to loosen any seams you also need your tailor's chuck start off by folding your fabric into two along the length I'm measuring the yard part of the fabric and this is directly opposite me so as you can see I folded my fabric into two along the length and I'll go ahead and fold that two into two again so basically I'm folding my fabric into four as shown then I go ahead and measure the width of my folded fabric and multiply whatever it is that I get by four since we folded into four you have to make sure that whatever it is that you get is at least one and a half of your bust measurements. Afterwards, you need to measure the blouse length and to do that, go ahead and place your measuring tape on your fabric starting at 5 inches because it's an off shoulder top. So basically, place 5 inches at the tip of the fabric and measure your desired blouse length. In this case, the blouse length I'm using is 24 inches so I've gone ahead to mark 24 inches and then added 3 inches allowance for the elastic casing as well as the hem after marking the blouse length and the hem allowance go ahead and cut and then measure what you have as you can see I have about 57 and a half inches which is basically more than one and a half of my bust measurement since my bust measurement is 36 inches next we want to make our elastic casing at the top of the fabric and to do this all you need to do is fold your fabric in by half an inch and then fold it further in by three quarter of an inch as shown. So you first want to fold in half an inch and then fold in three quarter of an inch. Pin and do this all the way through the width of the fabric as shown. After pinning your elastic casing, you should have something that looks like this. Go ahead and secure this with the straight stitch on your sewing machine using your regular thread. Then next, hem the bottom of your fabric by folding in half an inch and then half an inch again as shown. After pinning this in place, go ahead and sew it as well. After sewing the elastic casing and the hem, it should look like this. The next thing we want to do is we want to wind our elastic thread around our bobbin and remember that we are doing this by hand to avoid the elastic thread stretching. So go ahead and wind it just as shown in the video, it's pretty easy. Go ahead and do this manually, it does take some time but not too long. 
After filling the bobbin with elastic thread, go ahead and place the bobbin in the bobbin case and make sure that your bobbin is moving anti-clockwise. After placing the bobbin and the bobbin case into the bobbin compartment, go ahead and pick up the thread and set your tension to average which is about 5 or 6. You also want to set your stitch width to the widest stitch. Starting at the tip of the fabric, go ahead and sew straight lines along the width of the fabric. You want to make sure that your lines are even, however in this case I just eyeballed mine. It's okay to measure your lines if you need to. I decided to keep my lines about half an inch away from each other. Depending on your fabric choice, the smoking might not be visible until the first four or five lines are made. However, in this case, after only two lines, I can see that the smoking effect is coming on nicely. So go ahead and repeat this process all the way to the very end, making sure to lock your seams at the beginning and at the end of every line. As you sew, remember to flatten out and stretch out the part you're working on so it doesn't bunch up while sewing. So after about 30 minutes guys, this is where I am. I'm still sewing and I've got a long way to go. However, I'm not discouraged. It does take some time but a bit of patience and you'll be fine. So some people decide to stop at this point and they have like a peplum top as you can see in the picture on the right. However, we're doing a full shirt top so go ahead and continue making lines till you get to the very end. Like I mentioned earlier, remember to lock your seams at the beginning and at the end of each line that you've sewn and you also want to make sure that you're stretching out your fabric while sewing so it doesn't bunch up. This is absolutely important. One hour, 40 minutes later and I'm still on it making lines, however, I'm close to the end so I'm excited about that. It is tiring as you can tell, doing the same thing over and over again is tiring and it is time consuming but because I like to finish my projects at once, I don't like to leave it but if you need to take a break or take some time, definitely do that and then come back to it. So at this point my bobbin runs out of elastic thread and this would definitely happen so I wanted to show you what to do when this happens in case you don't know how to continue. So go ahead and put some elastic thread on your bobbin by hand of course and then you want to go back about an inch so you're going back from where you started you don't want to start exactly where it stops you want to go back by an inch and then you want to make sure that you lock your seam properly with your reverse lever and then continue sewing as normal so right now we are almost at the very end i think i have just about two lines at this point the line i'm making and then another line and then that will be it with lines yay we survived <laughs> Thank you. 
After sewing all the lines, your smock top is practically ready and should look like this. The next thing to do is to put the elastic into the elastic casing and you want to cut your elastic 5 inches less than your upper chest circumference measurement. If you don't know how to measure your upper chest circumference, I'm going to put a link in the description bar so please check it out and you'll learn how to measure your upper chest circumference. After cutting the elastic you need, go ahead and insert the elastic into the elastic casing with your safety pin. Be sure to hold the other end of the elastic so it doesn't run into the casing. After passing it into the elastic casing, pin your elastic to the fabric as shown in the video. After securely pinning the elastic to the fabric, go ahead and sew it down so that it doesn't move. After sewing down the elastic into the elastic casing, fold your fabric into two so that you can join it. To join your fabric, Pin the elastic casing points together, pin the hem together and pin all through the sides and then go ahead and mark your 1 inch sewing allowance and then sew along this line with a regular thread. After sewing the sides together, this is what it looks like. Go ahead and remove all the pins and then give it a good trim. Turn your top inside out and your smooth top is now ready. Alright guys, so we've come to the very end of this video. Thank you very much for watching to the very end. I hope it was worth your while and I hope you enjoyed it. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to share. Don't forget to leave a comment, question or suggestion below and I'll be sure to get back to you. And if you haven't subscribed, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!